YouTube, what's up, man? This is a neat little two games I'm going to show you guys. It was actually Weekend League, and these games are against K Flex. And, you know, it just shows what I do differently and how I get more comfortable when playing an opponent over and over. You know, I think it's a big part of madness being able to adjust not only, you know, from drive to drive, but from game to game. I think the more I play somebody, the better I get. The more I get used to their tendencies, what they like to do on defense, what they like to do on offense. So this is the first game we played. It was weekend league. At this point, I'm probably, I want to say, you know, 18 and 1, something like that. Good record, so you're playing some uh, some of the better players on the weekend league leaderboards. So we're going to start off right here, and I throw a pick. The first play, Earl Thomas, I think, number 29, I believe is Earl Thomas. Yep, just jumps and picks a post route over his head. So that's a crazy pick to do with the first play. I don't know what set he's running. It looks like this Arizona flip trips, which is really good in Madden. A couple of uh, Cam can't go get that. Arizona flip trips is really good in Madden a couple of years ago. Here we go to give up one of my Cardinals sins. Somehow, Ramsey and, and Chad Bill over there get beat. I guess they were pressed, and then just frustrating to give that up on the third and long. He throws a nice high ball there to Gronk to get in the end zone. A little sneaky play he ran to have Gronkowski there. So I throw a crazy pick the first play, give up a touchdown. So we're in a hole a little bit. Like I said, the Arizona Flip Trust was really good a couple years ago in Madden. And that's what he's running here. I really don't know what dots are in it for real to start. And I get screwed that he got Ted Hendricks. We put him with slow Ted Hendricks. He's slow, but he's really effective because he's huge and he can block shit. And then you see Tyreek Hill dropping the ball. Once again, that time you see Ted Hendricks coming through sacking me. So I got boxed the first drive. Go pick the first play. Box the second drive. Not really comfortable. I'm actually in the Jets playbook this game. So I gotta get comfortable with what I want to run against this. Uh, it looks like he's in 3-3-5 odd. Just trying to loop me to death. You know, no, no real crazy adjustments. Pretty basic. So I gotta get used to get comfortable with what, what he's doing. This run is kind of killing me out of this flip trips. Every little clown is just eight right there. And he really just looks for this one corner. Route. As you can see, the run's killing me. I gotta find a different way to stop that. And if he keeps running me, I will figure that out. I gotta cover the out the corner route. He goes and throws the out route. Chris Harris makes the tackle. Forcing him to punt. That's good. Make up for one of my turnovers to start the game. But look at this. You know, EA loves W. We're just gonna give him the perfect bounce inside the inch line. That's alright. So I went to split close here just so I can block the crib. And have some effective routes out there, effective post routes, drags, everything. Here we go throwing the ball over to Moss. Makes a tough catch on man, man coverage with Ramsey on him. That's what Moss does. Here we go. This is a bad. I went for a big play. I had the corner route, but the way he's blitzing me, big plays really aren't the best option. So then the next play, you know, we're going to throw it underneath here to Gurley. I got Gurley and McCoy in this two back set. And I tried to low ball curl. It was kind of boxed right there. Next play, he runs man, which was a complete mistake by him. The sneaking man. I knew it was man. Went to the halfback wheel post route. You know he's not going to cover that in man coverage. Here we go again. Dump it over to Beckham. You see I'm going a lot of Max Protect. Trying to get comfortable with his adjustments and what he's doing. Max Protect will do that. That time I blocked one and got absolutely screamed at. I mean, Hendricks and Shear are really killing me. Able to throw the ball underneath the Odell Beckham there. Get the first down on the C route. Can't really run. Got hit stick there again. I think that's shared again. But, you know, this is why we have Michael Vick. So we get skirt skirt in the end zone. If you don't have Michael Vick quarterback, you're really missing out on a huge aspect of Madden. I think, I think anybody that doesn't have Mike Vick is just making the wrong decision. He's such a difference maker. He can make plays like that. He's the only one. And he can, he's just outrageous in the pocket and behind a lot of scrimmage. And once he breaks the, breaks the team. So I feel like you need to have Michael Vick. And then we go screaming at him with Chris Harris. And the half is 7-7. Seven, seven. Could be worse for turning the ball over on my first two drives, but we're fighting back. Here we go. I'm starting to get a little more comfortable. We're going to start using, as you see, I'm going to start using the outside with the slot corner because I feel like I can shoot that gap a lot easier. Here we go. So he tries to hit me with the cover three bomb. Gets an overdose under pressure. You see, there it is right there. Able to shoot that, that B gap on that run and make a play. So I want to use that and take the run away from him. Throws a nice little baby dot there to uh, Odell Beckham, I believe. But so this is, once I can contain this run, I can go ahead and try to do some other stuff. Throws it in a neat champion. I'll knock it away. Uh, he ran, this was Ace Twins. He wasn't the same run play. He was able to get a decent run right there. Get him to a third and one. 
he ran this cute little play with a tight end curl and a play action play out a bunch. And we got Cam Chancellor blowing up the run right there on fourth and one. That's why we had Cam Chancellor. But interesting, he did go to that play with the curl to the, to the tight end along with the deep crossing route. And he had it open, but he was greedy and waited to see if I would leave that crossing route, which I never did. So we'll see later in that game. I will not allow him to get that play. Every time he's in that set, I'm going to man up the tight end so he can't put him on the curl. You can see the Sean McCoy just getting blasted. Here we go, got a nice little fourth and one. We hit him with a little baby dot right here, a little baby curl. Boom, get down with Randy Moss. Can't take hit. I've been getting blasted all game. We're out the third quarter. Ty Gurley almost gets super sticky right there for a touchdown, but somebody grabs me from behind. McCoy, this side. Once again, hit sticked again. I think that's Amos that just cracked me. All right, we're kind of bagged down here. We tried to throw a high ball curl. The Moss is broken up right there by Earl Thomas. Gets to a third and two. He butchers the crib by dumping off to McCoy and get tackled behind the line. Being on conservative, you can't really break tackles like you want to, and that's what happened there. So we got three minutes. We're stopping the run. All we got to do is get off the field here one time, boys, and hopefully ah, we, we stop the kick. There we go. Got to get off the field. I got a guard. He runs with the post play. This play is killing him. Every time he's running, it's been a throwaway or a sack. It's really just the run and that corner route play. And here we go with that play I told you about. I manned up the tight end when he goes to this set, so he can't run that same setup. He wasted that setup the first time, and he will go back to that every time, and I will man up the tight end when he does that. Good job here by him by putting a slant to distract my user. Patrick Peterson gets beat, and oh man, cover three. I got to change that deep zone. We were getting blown up the run. He was a split close there. We blew up that run. Got to hold him to three here. Able to go get him. See, he has Drew Brees in the pocket, so he's really not uh, light on his feet. So he can't get away, make extra yards. We hold him to the three. He's five for 12. It's pretty much just the run in that corner route that's killing me. That's really all he has. And I'll make huge adjustments as the game goes on. But this should be the last drive of the game. We got to go down here and get three boys. I mean, we're not playing great offense. He's really screaming at me, just like he did on first down. Whole team coming at me. So we're going to be cute. We're going to dump. We're going to make him respect the flats. I can't just be getting screamed at like this. We got to dump the ball off. Get some yards with our superstar running backs. Again, that time, and when you dump the ball off, it forces him to cover the running back. Bang, you're able to hit a, de a decent corner route. Again, over there, Darius Slay, I believe, and Reggie White just killing the run on that side. The run just waits for me to play, but everyone with those laser to Randy Moss. Hold wide, go back and get it, and that'll be the ball game. That's a huge play. Hold wide with Randy Moss to go back and aggressively catch the ball so the DBs can't jump in front of you. You jump in front of the DBs, and we're going to run the clock out. He uses his timeouts a little bit weird. And I'm able to go ahead and set up for this final field goal. Knock it through. That's GG's in the chat for the first game. It was a struggle. I didn't look good on offense. I didn't look good on defense. He, and, you know, but I, he surprised me with a bunch of different stuff. So we'll see how I learn what I learned into the second game against K Flexing.